Do you guys remember all that hype concerning the dreadlock ban in the workplace back in, I think it was like 2016? Yeah, well, there might be some hope for us after all. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Atreyu Locks channel. Hi, I'm Atreyu, a semi-free farmer who is dedicated to bringing you the best tips to grow a healthy set of locks. If this is your first time here, make yourself comfortable. I'm glad to have you. So, yeah, do you guys remember that dreadlock ban that everybody was talking about? The internet was buzzing about back in 2016. If you're unfamiliar with it, let me catch you up a little bit. So basically, a woman named Chastity Jones, I believe this was back in 2014, she had gotten a job offer for a job that she had applied for. And in a private meeting with whoever it was that was planning on hiring her, they got into this discussion about her dreadlocks and how dreadlocks can be unkempt and be messy. And not even necessarily hers, but you know, just in general, it can happen. And so ultimately what ended up happening was Chastity was unwilling to get rid of her locks and as a result, the job offer was rescinded. So Chastity, understandably so, filed a lawsuit and ended up losing in 2014, I believe it was. And then by the time it got on our radar was back in 2016, which of course is when the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals dismissed the case that was brought by the EEOC or the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. So ever since then, yeah, we've been forced to live with this reality that, hey, depending on who your employer is, they can refuse to offer you a job based on whether or not you have locks, which is kind of crazy and mind numbing to think about. It's, it's really outrageous, but it really does speak to just the widespread ignorance that is still ubiquitous and just the overall ancillary thinking that is still inherent in so many communities. Communities, of course, that can't relate and that do not understand what it means to have locks. But I promised that there would be good news. So let's get to the good news. So yesterday I happened to be listening to NPR and I heard about this county in Michigan where I guess they made the decision to ban that sort of discrimination, at least within their own county. I found this article by Metro Times. I'm gonna read a little bit of it to you so you can hear what happened in their words. So the title of it is, Public Employees in Michigan's Ingham County Can No Longer Be Discriminated Against for Their Hair. It says, a Michigan county passed a resolution that bans the county's public employees from being discriminated against on the basis of hair. And that's from the Lansing State Journal reports. The Creating a Respectful and Open Workplace for Natural Hair, also known as Crown, Act, passed unanimously on Tuesday by county commissioners and serves as a revision to the State of Michigan's Equal Opportunity Plan, which prohibits discrimination of employment within state departments and public positions regardless of race, religion, sex, height, weight, marital status, national origin, age, or disability. Ingham County is the first in the state to adopt such a resolution. Quote, Ingham County will be on the forefront of these issues, and this is another example of how we've been leading not just the region, but the state on racial justice and equity issues, states Commissioner Daryl Slaughter. Okay. The resolution protects employees with natural hair and those who wear protective styles like braids, weaves, locks, and twists. It only protects public employees paid by the county, such as those who work in the courts and county clerk offices, as well as those in road service and health department positions. I think that is like <laughs> amazing. It just goes to show how like things can really happen on a smaller scale and how by having things change on a smaller scale, it can really affect the more macro scale. My hope is that this resolution that was unanimously passed will serve as a microcosm for what is to come on a larger scale. It goes on a little bit later to say, the Ingham County resolution is but one success in the fight against race-based hair discrimination. State Representative Sarah Anthony, Democrat Lansing, reintroduced a similar bill to the Michigan House of Representatives last month that would ultimately ban hair discrimination in all workplaces statewide, as well as in public school settings. 
quote, it's pretty historic for a county to be the first in the state to do this, Anthony said. In the shadow of 2020, when all of this racial unrest was happening, and so many women who went natural during the pandemic, Ingham County is trying to be inclusive and not just talking the talk, but walking the walk, end quote. So yeah, that's amazing. And I think that that is just great news. And you know, it's a little glimmer of hope that maybe one day people with locks will not be discriminated against in terms of job employment. I mean, I've always felt that if a place discriminates against me based on my hair, you know, if they judge me based on how my hair is versus what I can do for them, what I can add to their place of business, then I don't want to work there in the first place. But that's me and that's kind of not even the point, right? The point is that this shouldn't be happening at all in the first place. So I don't know, it's like a blessing for sure, but it can also be a curse because if people are forced to behave correctly or behave the way they're supposed to behave, then you don't really get to see how they really feel, you know? You don't really get to see their cards. So there are advantages and disadvantages to both sides of it, I guess. But I'm curious to know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think that this is indicative of something better to come? Do you think more counties and then states will start to implement such rules? And I'm curious, would you prefer to deal with someone who can discriminate? Or would you prefer to deal with someone who was forced to behave like a human being, but they still might harbor those negative feelings about you? I don't know, it's really interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna take it as a win. You guys let me know what you think in the comments section. And yeah, I just wanted to bring this to you because I was really excited to hear that something good was finally happening for once somewhere. So kudos to you. Ingham County, and yeah, may more places adopt such a heart of humanity. If you choose to love, do so unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all. This is Atreyu Locks, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.